I went from like a 50s Princess Leia to a shaggy dog. Hey everyone, it's Aubrey, Recovering Perfectionist, Queen of Distraction, and today's video is going to be a little bit different than what we're normally doing. We are just going to be going through what hair is looking like for me as a mom and just a regular idiot on the internet over the course of a week. So I had a request for a video on how I do my hair recently and that led me to believe that my last few videos must be really giving the idea that I have it together when it comes to my hair. And while when I do make videos, I do try to look my best, it's just not always necessarily the reality of things. So I'm gonna take you through the week of what my hair is looking like and then what I do to get my hair actually looking good on the days that I look like a put together human being. I washed my hair last night. I typically wash my hair one or two times a week. It just kind of depends on what I have going on. And my favorite way to do my hair is doing just a heat free curl. I don't have any fancy curling tools. I do have a hair straightener that I use every once in a while, but for the most part, I just, I don't like doing hair. It's not something I enjoy, but I do like to feel good about myself. So I try to put in at least some effort and this is the amount of effort that I'm willing to put in. There are a lot of different ways that you can do your hair like this, do the heat free curl without having to buy something. I've seen the long satin, like squishy, heat free curling things before and I have tried those. And honestly, it just, it wasn't worth my $17. I returned it and I am just happy and content using household items to curl my hair. And I did double check with my cousin who is my hairstylist. She's been doing hair for I think the last 20 years or something crazy at this point. And I asked her like, should I be using something that satin like is, you know, what I'm using drying my hair out? And she's like, you know, maybe, but it's also really not that big of a deal. If for whatever reason my hair looks frizzy or dry, which sometimes happens, I do have a hair oil that I put in and that turns things around. So that is that where we are for today on day one. I'm probably going to let this sit for at least a few more hours before I take it out. My prediction is based on trends, is the back part is gonna end up being a little bit flat, which I'm gonna feel weird about. So I'm gonna end up doing like a half up, half down kind of thing, which works for me because I don't really like having my hair in my face. Just being a mom, trying to get through my day and doing things, it can really be overstimulating to have my hair falling down in my face. So I much prefer to have it up in a bun or pulled back some. So that's most likely the look that I'm going to end up gravitating towards. That might end up being the case for tomorrow. There will definitely be a bun or two over the course of the week, probably a day when my hair starts looking a little greasy, but the curl are still good that I'll toss a beanie on. So without further ado, we are just going to sit back, get cozy, and see where the week takes my hair. So first things first, today is day one. And the way that I put my hair up to curl last night has been kind of my go-to way of curling my hair for the last few years. I just use a old stretchy elastic headband. And after I wash and condition my hair, put a curl cream in, and then I do have like a roost boot cream. And then I do have a roost boot cream that I use just to give the illusion of some kind of volume. And then once I have that product in, I just put my stretchy headband over my hair after I've parted it and combed it out. And then depending on what kind of look I'm going for, I take either small or larger sections of my hair. Last night I did larger sections and I just take the chunk and I tuck it in and just grab a little bit more hair and just wrap it around until basically I can't go any further. And then any hair that's left over, I just twist and then bobby pin it to the opposite side of my head. And then just to keep things secure at night because I am going to be sleeping in it, I'll wrap my hair in a bandana. And then a lot of times if I really want it to look great for a specific reason, I won't do my hair just the night before unless I can keep my hair up for the majority of the next day. But if I have to have my hair ready for something in the morning, I will do it two nights prior. That way I can give my hair just as much time as possible to sit in the curl and dry because there are some mornings that I wake up and my hair is still a little bit damp. And today might end up being one of those days where I just pop a beanie over this situation and go to the store. I've done that in the past and it just ensures that I'm getting the most curl out of the minimal effort that I put in. Okay so I am not waiting until later to take it out. It feels dry enough and I did actually I lounged in front of the wood stove for a little bit to try and uh, dry things out as much as I could but I'm just I'm just ready to ready to take this out but we see like a little you know a glimpse of what's to come. So I took my bobby pins out and I'm just gonna there we go. Okay, so this is what we're working with right now. We're just gonna do a little of this. Okay, where's my where's my last four bobby pins? I'm gonna need one of these 
probably pins up front. So I'm gonna use just one of these like barrette clips. This was my grandma's. And I'm just gonna contain things back there with that. And then I can use my last bobby pin to just tuck that up. And there's that's this. That this is what I'm this is what I'm working with today. So day one of real life hair. I was like a little bit initially unsatisfied, but I feel I feel cute. Alrighty, here we are back for day two. It is the next day, the next morning. So today I don't have to go anywhere. I don't feel like doing anything fancy. This is also a color of shirt that I feel like I like better if my hair is up. And on days that I stay home, I try and give my skin, which I mean, it's really honestly most days, I try to give my skin a break from wearing makeup. So that is uh, why I look the way I do. So we're just, we're just doing one of these buddies today. Also the fact that I don't have to go anywhere today. I really don't like uh, driving in the car with those clips because they're just like stabbing into the back of your head. And then here, in case you don't know what the back of a head looks like with one of these clips in. Anyway, back to like sitting in the car with my hair like this. It's like, like, uh, cause like presses into the back of the seat. And if you, if you know, you know. So this is hairstyle number two. And I feel, I feel fun and sassy and cute. And it's out of my face for the most part. I did get my hair cut recently. And I do like, just love the little bit of bangs, like the little facial framing that I have, especially with the leftover curl. But I think I may end up washing my hair tonight a little earlier than anticipated, just because my husband is going to be going out of town. So I'm just kind of trying to get in as much like self care as I can before that happens, before he goes on his hunting trip. We also had a fire in the backyard yesterday and my hair smells a little bit like stale campfire. So that's that. I will see you tonight if I do end up wrapping my hair up in some kind of curl contraption. Otherwise I will see you tomorrow morning, day two. We're back day three. Did I wash my hair last night? Nope. I didn't even end up taking a shower. Just that's sometimes how it goes. So I'm just gonna brush my hair out. And because I just don't like how my hair looks right now. And it's a day where I need to do some things and I want my hair up out of my face. It's bun day. It's bun day y'all. I've been surviving off of like the same five random hair ties over the course of the last few years. This one's my current favorite. Please don't break. This is my favorite thing for I guess just brushing out my hair because you know sometimes your hair gets too smooth and then it doesn't do a good bun. You know what I'm talking about? All right, bun time. had a lot of these once upon a time and now I have a gray one and a black one and the gray one is the one that makes me look the most alive but also still washes me out a little bit but also I really don't care because I need to be able to move on with my day and we're calling it good so this is day three hair I'm going to take a bobby pin tuck down that weird thing that's happening in the back and we're calling it good and I'm for sure washing my hair today like it's absolutely happening because I have to go to the petting zoo tomorrow and I gotta look good for the goats
50s princess leia to a shaggy dog so um it's the morning time let's just take a moment to enjoy how pink it is and the sunrise and moving on now this is something that i had done before and it was when i had longer hair last year so i wanted to try it again i can't remember i'm pretty sure that i liked how it worked out it just it's not the most comfortable to sleep in and like this back one already fell out when I woke up this morning and it wasn't completely dry this morning and normally like I would have liked to have sat in it a little bit longer but it's really irritating me and I did sit in front of the fire for about half an hour and just let it you know dry before the boys woke up because I didn't want to turn on the hair dryer so let's just let's hope for the best oh still damp in there but I'm just not going to mess with it and I'm going to go maybe sit in front of the fire a little longer but I just really like to get this stuff out of my face so I could have just taken down only the first one and left these ones, but uh, here we are. Too late for that. Well, that wasn't bad. <laughs> hopefully this, hopefully this ends up like something decent. Oh gosh, this video is turning into how not to do your hair. We're going to come back to this. All right. So this is, this is like the current weird right, we're just we're gonna brush things out like the curl isn't holding it was still it was still too damp so i think that tonight i might end up doing what i'm pretty sure that i did last time it was those pink uh rags but i had rolled up two and put two in one and that is how i think that i ended up with the very nice curls that i had on like one day that i ended up doing a garden tour early because my hair looks so good and maybe, you know, this video is how not to do your hair and how to fix your hair when you uh, budge it up. So, but um, I mean, I'm happy with, with how it looks today. I feel like a cute, functional person. And I think that, you know, the goats and the horse and the camel and the pigs at the petting zoo are really going to appreciate the effort that I put into my look today. Um, so I guess, you know, the ultimate goal though is that I feel happy and confident. And even though I slept like crap because those things were extremely uncomfortable, um, I, I guess I at least look decent today. And the moral of the story is I'll never do that again. Okay, so just like as the day has gone on, every time I walk past a mirror and I see my reflection, I just, you know, I really thought that this was gonna be a hard fail, but I am just, I'm feeling pretty good about myself today. Okay, here we are for day five. I didn't end up curling my hair again. It's like I have these good intentions of, you know, redoing my hair or whatever. And it just didn't end up happening because I was actually really happy with how my hair looked when I was getting ready to like get to that point in my day. Uh, I said night and day like at the same time. Nay, it was my day. It was my night. And the curl has relaxed a little bit more. I mean, I should say it had, but I like had thrown my hair up and it seems like having my hair up in the hair tie kind of revived a little bit of the body and movement. This thing here might be a little bit weird, but also I feel like I'm in the 90s right now. So I'm happy with how my hair just looks down today, but because it's a day that we're going to just be at home, like living life, it's a rainy day, we're probably going to be inside. Our neighbors are going to come over and we're going to carve pumpkins with the kids. So there is a 100% chance that my hair will end up in a bun similar to the bun that I took it out of, or like I'll just end up throwing it back in some kind of ponytail situation. It's not going to be glamorous, it's not going to be cute, it's just kind of one of those days where it's like function over fashion. So we will see where tonight takes us, uh, probably to tomorrow. Traditionally, it will take us to the next day and 
tomorrow will probably end up being a bun or beanie day. That's my guess. Okay, today's day five or six. I don't really know. This is what my hair is looking like this morning. Don't hate it, but I've got some stuff that I need to do today and I just really want it up. It's also a little bit greasy. I kind of imagine doing French braid pigtails, but if I'm gonna be putting that like amount of effort and like strain on my back, that's something that I wanna be able to leave overnight so I can take it out the following day and have nice waves, but that's not something that I want to do. So uh, since I have this, you know, natural gel in my hair, ew, there was some water on that brush. Ew. Ugh. So it's gonna even look more shiny. I'm just gonna do, it's gonna be like a slicked back clip day. All right, my bangs will end up falling down like at some point, which is whatever, it's going to look a little bit silly. All right, just a regular day of hair. Just kidding, I'm back. It's been like five minutes maybe, and my bangs are tickling me in a weird way and it's really irritating. So um, we're just, we're doing a bandana today. I know it's not like it's fall, it's not bandana season, but I am, it's just gonna be a strawberry bandana day. I'm pretty sure that this is actually a napkin, but I don't care, it's cute. Ouch. There, that's better. I see everybody screaming today. Oh gosh, help me. So far I'm liking how this side's looking, but this side's a little different, different. but apparently, apparently I didn't. Um, there's nothing I can do about it now. The back. The back I can't really. Okay, so this really isn't what I had imagined uh, for my hair today. Gosh, I'm just, I really think that it is the current length of my hair. Like when my hair is shoulder length, my heatless curls are just really on point like every time no matter what i do so i don't know if it's just like the extra few inches that are kind of throwing a wrench in like how i'm able to work with it realistically like having my hair pulled back today is a better option for what i have to do on my to-do list uh so i mean it would have probably ended up pulled back like this at some point sooner or later we're just we're just getting an earlier start and i guess uh that's that so um this is where we go to the outro of this video Alrighty, well, we made it to the end of the video. We made it to the end of a week of hair. Thank you for tagging along with me. Obviously, this was not really a how-to video. It was just how I do. Obviously, some days were better than others, and you know, that's just kind of the ups and downs of life and the ups and downs of hair. Like, like literally sometimes it's up and sometimes it's down. But that is all for the video. I am planning on doing a Q&A, just not hair related, but if you have a hair question, that's fine. Um, just anything's on the table, I guess. You can ask me questions in the comments, I guess just like put in there like Q&A question, blah, blah, blah. If you would like to remain anonymous, I know that some content creators have questions uh, 
posted to their Instagram. So I don't really use my Instagram all that much, but if you would like to post an anonymous question, you can message me directly there. I'm just gonna, I guess, be collecting questions over the course of, I think, November, and then maybe I'll do my Q&A in December. That's, that's, I think, the plan. So if there's anything that you wanna know about me that you don't already know, this is, this is gonna be a fun opportunity. We'll see how this goes. Thank you to all of my new and old subscribers. I appreciate you all tagging along with me for my YouTube journey. I'll see you on the next one. As always, I love you, have fun, and be kind.